Hey guys, today I will reveal my big airline range lime trees over here. Um, I will cut this ready rooted, a lot of root, I would say in here, I will reveal that. Show you guys how to do these big early entries. You can do this with all sort of trays that you like to do. And pretty much easy easy way to um, if you need to relocate a trace or you want to get a new brand to give to your friend or you want to move in house and you want to get that the same trace to to grow so the idea for me to do here I have these lime trees a big one and I want to um, relocate the trees out from here it's sort of in the middle position and um, kind of in the way of everything else so I do the LA range this big branch so that I can remove the big tree after that once this one um, successfully done and growing a lot of wood all right Let's see how we go. Right, so my container is done. So I'm gonna arrange my early lime trees. Let's let's work on the trees now. All right. So I'm gonna make this um, piece of wood screwed on the trees so that I can hold the container it's nice and steady while I'm doing my early ring. So I just mark it about halfway between the height of the container. So I'm going to do a slot cut on the trees. Over here, I'm just cut a slot of the bark of my lime trees. It's about two inches. Go around and just clear the bark of the trees. This is the important step that we need to do is to clean out all the sap flow between the bark and the center of the the wood of the trees. In that way the uh, nutrient is not um, supporting from the ground to the um, the top of the trees. That way it um, the nutrient we try to draw out from the container that we put the soil in and then it will get a lot of roots coming out to support the tree on the top. That's how it works for air layering. All right, let's get a close look. All 
around. I'm applying a bit of root hormone that's surrounding the uh, where you're cutting the slot. In that way, you can uh, guarantee that the root is going to be coming out. So you're going to take a successful of your air layering trace. But you can keep this uh, step. It's still successful if you're doing it at the right time. Because um, I did my mango trace and it worked perfectly fine without the root hormone so it can be done without root hormone So use the electrical tape to tape up the uh, container so it doesn't open, just to make it uh, close, easier to put the potty mix into the container. The soy mixture that I use here is a uh, cocoa pit and mix with uh, premium potty mix and I put a little bit of uh, organic lifter just to get a bit of nutrient into the pot I am using the aluminium wires to secure the pot to the trees so it doesn't like fall off there's a strong wind or anything that hits it by accident so that's a good way to secure it. So this is my first massive air layering lime trees. This looks beautiful. So from the day that I started this project was I did it on the 5th of November 2021 so today is 22nd of February 2022 so exactly 109 days so we'll see how this turn out to be um, hopefully I uh, will see a lot of root in this one I'm almost guarantee that it is really a uh, successful project Oh, 
Look at that guys, this is massive trees that I just get from there and they're beautiful. Alright, cutting my breath, leaving these big long trees, air layering. That's massive guys. Ooh. Good work out. This there, ready to grow fruit anytime. It looks so healthy. Let's see how much roots it got in there. Let's find out. Before I repot this, I will try to um, prune it a bit. It's easier to work with. Okay, so I'm gonna try to prune. Okay guys, I will take this pot out and then I'll re pot into this big pot over here. So much root. 